Hey, Donna, you've got some serious explaining to do. I mean, seriously, what do you have to say for yourself? You call this lunch? You know that I hate mushrooms. Why did you pack me these nasty, slimy things in my lunch, huh? Oh, wait, you don't like mushrooms? Oh, I'm really sorry, Sammy. I had no idea about that at all until today. I really didn't know that you didn't like mushrooms at all. Actually, your mom and some of her friends just had a bunch from their gardens and gave me some, so I thought I would use them. Although now that I know that, uh, oof, I was actually making a nice mushroom stew for dinner tonight. Oh no, are you kidding me? You mean there's going to be more of these? Oh my god, why is my life always so hard? This isn't fair, they're so disgusting. I'm really, really sorry for the mix-up, but I've already started cooking the dinner since it was going to take a few hours to stew everything and get it ready. I really had no idea that you didn't like mushrooms, but if you really hate them this much, maybe you can just make your own dinner tonight? Is that supposed to be some kind of a joke or something? Are you trying to starve me right now? Not only did you basically try to poison me with these nasty little things in my lunch, but now you tell me that if I don't eat your stew, then I'll go to bed hungry? What did I do to make you hate me so much? Seriously, what is the matter with you? Sammy, please, I, I think you're being just a little bit unreasonable. Of course I don't hate you, and I certainly didn't do any of this on purpose or with any kind of intention. I just didn't know that you hated mushrooms so much. You really expect me to believe that? We've been living together in the same house for three years already. Are you really trying to make me buy that you don't know what I do and don't like? Honestly, you are just a little parasite living off of us, you know that? Please don't talk to me like this. I really don't think that I did anything to deserve you saying these kinds of things. Please don't call me names like that. Why shouldn't I? I'm just telling the truth, aren't I? You're a parasite and I'm just calling it how I see it. If you don't like it, then maybe you shouldn't be one. <laughs> I mean, you used to work for a huge company and be really successful, but the moment you married my brother, you decided to quit. You just forced all of the work onto my brother while you live the life of a pampered housewife. I don't see how you're anything but a parasite. I already explained to you that I changed my job recently and that I've been working from home. I'm not a housewife. I just have my job at the house now. I work full time, you know. Oh, please, I know that isn't true at all. How are you going to sit there and try and tell me that you work when you just sit at home on your computer all day? <laughs> I know that you don't actually work at all. You just try and make my poor brother do everything for you, you leech. <laughs> I still just don't get why he won't divorce you yet. I asked you to please stop calling me things like parasite and leech. You know, if you're not going to go anywhere all day and just be at home, the least you could do is keep the place clean for us. You need to realize that you're only being allowed to live here at the mercy of my family. But I already do a lot for everyone here. I mean, I get up early in the morning so that I can make everyone's lunches. I feel like I do more than just my share around here. In fact, I would really like it if you actually stepped up a little bit more and helped out around the house. You know, when you talk to me like this, it really makes me not want to cook for you at all anymore. Ugh, I seriously just can't believe you. You are really just the worst, you know that? You don't have any right to talk to me like that as long as you're just living off my brother's hard work. The life you have is all thanks to him, and this is how you treat his sister? You need to understand that you are nothing but a freeloader here. Were you raised to show any kind of gratitude at all? <laughs> Tell me, are your parents just as bad as you are? Okay, hold it right there. Now, I don't like you calling me names one bit, but I do draw the line at you bringing my parents into this. Do you understand? I am not going to stand for you insulting them. Well, if you don't want me talking about your parents, maybe you should act in such a way that I don't have to resort to that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why we let you bum around here when you contribute nothing. You're just a burden on all of us.
Ugh, I seriously just can't take it anymore. I am at my limit with your sister. I don't think I can stand to live with her another day. She is seriously pushing me way too far. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, what's all this about? Did Sammy do something to upset you? Of course she did. She's always trying to pick on me. But lately it's gotten a lot worse, and today she seriously crossed some lines for me. She was calling my parents stupid, Frank. My parents! And she kept going on about how I don't do anything around here and how I wasn't raised right. Wow. Did she really say that? That really is taking things way too far. I mean, she already had been taking things far, but that is just too much. I just don't get why she can't leave me alone. Who does she think she is to talk to someone like that? She is so, so rude. I mean, as if she has any right to tell me that I don't help out around the house. She is living in our house, and she doesn't lift a finger to help. I seriously just don't even know what to say to all that. I'm so sorry that you had to put up with her and her attitude, Donna. I'll try talking to her and explaining the situation in a way that she can understand it, okay? Let me try and handle this while you process everything, okay? But, Frank, how many times have you told me that you were going to talk to her and nothing has changed? I know that you mean well and that she's your sister, but things haven't gotten better for me at all. I know, but, I mean, please, just let me try one more time. I don't think you say enough to her. You just let her off with warning after warning. Speaking of, have you even talked with your sister recently? I haven't really seen you stepping in and calling her out on things we've talked about. Well... I'll do my best, but I can't force her to change. I mean, she just started looking for jobs in March, you know. I'm sure that she's feeling a lot of pressure right now and that she's lashing out emotionally at others, but she really isn't a bad person. She's just really stressed out. I get that looking for a job can be stressful. I also changed my job not that long ago, remember? But I really don't think that that excuses any of her actions, and I am shocked that you would try and justify the way she's been treating your own wife. What does her looking for a job have to do with my being a so-called freeloader? I mean, she knows that I work from home. You have told her that I work from home and that I'm the only one who works, right? Of course I haven't told her that I don't work. I haven't told her anything like that at all. Are you serious? Frank, I thought that we talked about this. We promised that you would talk to her. But she's my sister. I'm her older brother. She's looked up to me ever since we were kids. I can't let her know that I don't have a job, but my wife does. Think how it'd break her heart as she found out about the truth. So you're really going to prioritize protecting your own pride over telling the truth to help your wife? I really can't believe that you want to do something as silly as that when you know the kind of pain it's going to cause me. Is this why you haven't been more strict with her? Well, I'm a brother. I can't be strict here. I still want her to like me. Besides, it isn't like my parents are going to let her live with them again. That's right. Because they were also sick of dealing with Sammy's attitude, isn't that right? But you don't mind if I'm getting the brunt of it instead, you know? I've been thinking about moving back in with my parents. Edward, are you serious? Look, please don't do that. Uh, who's going to provide for me if you're not here? If you're really that worried about that, then I'm giving you one last chance to talk to your sister and set things right or else. Promise me that this time you absolutely will talk to Sammy and tell her never to call me a freeloader or anything like that ever again. Got it? Okay, yes, I got it loud and clear. I swear that I'll talk to her and that none of this is going to happen again. I am serious about this, Frank. This is your final chance. If things don't improve, then I am going back to live with my parents and that is that. What the heck is this squash doing in my lunch today, huh? Are you serious? You must seriously be trying to starve me or something. I hate squash. Why are you trying to feed it to me? What do you mean? I thought you liked it. When we went to that sushi restaurant and they had the squash tempura, you seemed to really like it, remember? I remember you saying that you thought it was tasty. 
I'm sorry, but did you bread and deep fry this squash? No, you didn't. It's just nasty, boiled, squishy squash. Why do you think I would ever want to eat this? I guess I just thought that you might have liked it in any form. Honestly, you are so, so useless. Why don't you know what I like and don't like yet? What is your problem, huh? I would have thought you'd have learned by now, but you haven't seemed to have gotten it at all. Sammy, I think that you and I talked about this not that long ago, right? If you are worried about getting food that you won't like in your lunches, then you should go ahead and make your own lunches. I'm not your mom, and this isn't a hotel, okay? Oh, I know you're not her. At least she could cook. But once again, you're getting your place because you're nothing but a lousy, no-good freeloader. And if you think that I'm going to sit here and take that kind of take from a parasite like you, you've got another thing coming. Why won't you just leave Frank and I alone already? If you're going to be so useless, there's no point in us keeping you around at all anyways. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you serious? Do you think that that's any way to talk to me? Listen, I am the sister of your husband. Got it? That means that it's your job to learn what I do like and what I don't like. It is really that simple. Also, you should know that I already reached out to talk to your parents earlier. I told them how useless you were at home and what a lousy wife and sister-in-law you are. I asked them if this is the kind of person that they raised. <laughs> Wait, hold on right there. Did you seriously call my parents and talk to them, Sammy? Of course I did. And I let them know all about what a lousy person you were in every single way. I also made sure to let them know that you're nothing but a parasite in this house living off the work of your poor husband. I asked them to tell me how they raised you that you turned out like this. <laughs> I don't believe this. Honestly, just who do you think you are? You have got some nerve calling my parents and talking to them just to say that kind of crap. Well, I think that your parents were glad to know the kind of person their daughter had become. They were crying so hard and apologizing to me over and over again. They told me to tell you that you were welcome to get back there at any time. You see, we don't want you here, and your parents gave you an open invitation, so just leave already. I don't need a useless little worm like you in the house anymore. Excuse me? What did you just call me? Seriously, what is your problem? Just having to see your stupid face around the house every day is enough to seriously piss me off. You have no idea how hard I work every day trying to find a job, and yet you just rub your easy, cushy life in my face every single day. I can't stand having to live in the same house with you. Just knowing that we breathe the same air is enough to drive me crazy. I get that you're stressed about finding a job, but this is so much more than taking out your stress on someone else. You are just looking for someone to bully, and you chose me without even knowing anything about me. Excuse me? Is the little tapeworm trying to get all uppity again? Did you really forget your place again? I want you out of here. Out! All you do is eat our food and take up space. I wish my brother would just divorce you already. You aren't worthy of living with him. All right, then. Fine. If that's how you want it, I guess I'll just stop paying your tuition, then. What do you mean? You don't pay my tuition. I also talked to my parents, and my mom said that she would be more than happy if I went home to live with them. I might just move out tonight. Hold on. Seriously, what are you talking about? Why did you bring up my tuition? What does my going to college have to do with this at all? I mean, my parents pay my tuition, so I have no clue what you're on about. They did for the first year of your degree, yeah. But after that, your dad ended up losing most of his savings and wasn't able to continue supporting you. I mean, why do you think he asked you not to live in the dorms after your first year? Hold on. What are you saying? Uh, why do you think my dad lost all of this money? Hmm. Well, since I'm about to leave, I guess I can finally spill all of the beans to you. Your dad wanted to keep this from you, but he actually lost all of his money in an investment scam. After that, there was no way that he could afford to keep sending you to school. He came to me and asked if I could do anything to help take care of the situation. Hold on. No way. That can't be right. You're not 
serious, are you? My dad got scammed? And I had no idea about it? That's why he suggested that I move in with Frank? I thought he suggested it because it was really close to campus. Besides, Frank was the one who invited me to come and live with you guys. That was all just a farce so that you wouldn't suspect that anything was actually wrong. But you know, for being a college student, you were kind of slow to notice this. It was all a farce? This has to be some kind of a joke. That's right. I mean, we basically live a short bus ride away from your campus. Your dad didn't suggest that you move back home because they were already having enough financial trouble. But he also wanted to ensure that you didn't find out what had happened, so he planned with Frank to convince you to move in with us. I don't believe this. They all lied to me and I had no idea about it all? I was against it, of course, although you probably could have guessed that. I also guessed that once you found out, it might upset you and that it would have been better just to be honest about things. But Frank said that as your older brother and eldest child, it was his job to do this. I said okay, and then you moved in. I was hoping that things would be fine after that, but... You got it in your head that I was some kind of a freeloader here, despite explaining to you over and over again that I work from home. In fact, for your information, I pay for everything in this house. You pay for everything? What do you mean by that? That can't be right. Frank pays for everything and you do nothing. That just isn't true. The truth is that I pay for your school. I pay for our food. I pay for the roof over our heads. It all comes out of my salary. And just so you know, I make $300,000 a year. What? You make that much money? That can't be. That's that's a huge amount of money. How can you make $300,000 a year? You've got to be lying to me. There is no way that a job you can do from home can pay that much. Well, it's the truth. Not to toot my own horn, but I make bank. Wait a second, I got it. I know what's going on now. You've got to be a streamer, right? That's why you have that big computer, the lights, the camera, and that's why you were playing games from so early in the morning. Ooh, so close and yet so far. No, I am not a streamer. I'm actually a programmer. You're a programmer? As in, like, a computer programmer? That's right, a computer programmer. And it wasn't long after Frank and I got married that I was offered this amazing job from a famous video game company and took it. Although because the company is based overseas and there's a time difference, I end up having to wake up early to work. I imagine that the times you were watching me play video games were the times that I was actually testing them. I program some games and I do quality checks on games that others have made. And this foreign company is willing to pay you $300,000 a year for that kind of work? Work that you don't even show up at an office to do. Of all the jobs that I was looking at, the highest salary I could get coming in was just $2,000 a month. And here you thought that I was just doing whatever I wanted at home all day long. I tried to tell you that I had a real full-time job, but you just wouldn't listen. But I still don't get it. Uh, that can't be. I mean, I understand that you have a job and that you make money, but I still don't get why it was you that was paying my college tuition. I mean, if my dad couldn't afford to pay it, then why wouldn't it fall to Frank to pay it? Oh, right. Good question. I almost forgot to tell you. I actually have another surprise for you. The truth is that Frank is unemployed and has been for a while now. Wait. My older brother doesn't have a job and hasn't for some time? What do you mean by that? You summarized it pretty neatly there, actually. But, yeah, I think this is year three of him not working. I think he gave up looking after the first year, though, so when your dad came to us for help, I was the only one with any income. What? This isn't making any sense. I mean, how could my brother not have a job but for three years? That means that he didn't even have one when I moved in here. That's right. And it was even before your father got scammed. He's been out of a job for a long, long time. 
I don't believe this. This is too much to take in all at once. This is just crazy. I know, your brother really is quite the piece of work, isn't he? He kept going on and on about how it was his job as the older brother, the eldest son, whoever else, to protect his family, but he doesn't actually contribute anything. Oh, and by the way, your brother actually fell for the same scam that your father did. You mean to tell me that both my older brother and my father fell for the exact same scam? Apparently, your dad did see some returns the first time, and so he invited Frank to invest with him. And that's when the scammer decided to strike. It's actually quite smart if you think about it. Let someone think they're making money so that they invite others to invest, and when you have several people's money, then you take it all. I guess neither of them must have thought anything suspicious of it, though, because they practically went in with all their savings. For Frank, that meant the last of the savings that he was living off of since quitting his job. That can't be true. Uh, please tell me this is all some kind of giant joke or something. No way this is happening. Uh, so then, not only is my brother jobless, but he's also penniless? That's right. Although he told me about the scam after we had already agreed to take you in. I remember not knowing what to think at all when he sat me down that night and explained that I'd be paying for everything. I remember being in shock and calling his parents to ask if it was true, and that's when I found out that it all was. That's just terrible! How could he do that to you? Uh, not just my brother, how could my family put you in a position like that? It was very hard on me, but... It was even harder knowing that as I was doing everything for your family that you would be at home always insulting me. But, no, uh, this is all just one big misunderstanding. You don't get it. So I guess you finally understand the kind of stress that I've been dealing with ever since the day that we took you in, right? But I didn't have any idea of what was going on. Please don't be like this. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not know that for the past few years I was fitting all of your tuition for you without so much as a thank you from anyone? And that while I was doing that for you, you were screaming at me and harassing me and telling me to divorce your brother and get out of the house. Well, now I'm afraid that I have no choice but to leave now. It's just too bad that you had to kick me out before I could finish paying for everything. Oh no, what should I do? What should I do? I still have a whole year of schooling to pay for, but now I know that neither my dad nor my brother have any savings or jobs or anything left to their names. Yeah, that's basically what it sounds like. But anyways, it sounds to me like you have some serious chats to have with your family now. Given the time of day, I would guess that all of them are probably at the casino gambling away what little they do have as we speak. Wait, why would they be gambling? I don't get it. Aren't they not even supposed to have any jobs? That's right. At first they were all telling me that they were out looking for work, but it wasn't long before I found out the truth. Apparently no one wanted to take a job that paid less than their old job. That or they wanted to work at some huge corporation and wouldn't settle for anything they considered too small. Instead, they thought they could turn their fortunes around by gambling. So even my dad was stupid enough to act this way? I just don't even know what to say. This is so ridiculous. I know that it may be hard to believe, but you can go and check this all for yourself. Anyways, I'm going to start packing things so that I can move out. What's the matter with you? Why do you tell Sammy everything? Don't you realize what you've done? She just burst into the casino, started yelling at us, and caused a whole scene. She was crying and kept crying until even my parents were. And just what is wrong with my telling the truth to her, huh? You were the one who broke your promise to me. I told you to talk to Sammy and tell her not to call me a leech anymore. That was all you had to do. But you were so worried about your pride that you couldn't even do that. What kind of way is that to talk to your husband? Seriously, just who do you think you are? You get back home and apologize to me right this instant. I'm serious. You think that just because you make a little money that you can treat people this way? Oh, no. 
I'm so, so sorry. I've actually already left the house, and I don't plan on coming back anytime soon, either. You can wait for me there as long as you like, but I won't be around. What are you talking about? Are you kidding me? By the way, I left the divorce papers on the living room table, so if you could sign those for me, that would be just great. Hold on a second, what are you saying? You can't be serious, right? I mean, you're on a divorce? That can't be right. Well, wow, thank goodness that I make $300,000 a year. You think I care if I lose you as a husband? Of course I can lose you, so just sign them already. Wait, no, 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 <laughs> please don't do this to me. I couldn't handle that. Please, let's just talk this out. I know that if we can make this work, I can change, I promise. Please, change your mind. Donna, are you there? Please answer me. I really, really need to talk to you right now. I just really want you to come back, please. My school is threatening to kick me out. You have to come back and pay for my school. Please don't make me leave. You can still get me out of this mess. There's still time. Is it really such a big deal? I mean, you only have one more year of tuition left to pay. Surely you can afford to pay at least that much, right? It's, what, $3,000? Surely there would be a bank willing to loan you that much. But I don't want a lend from the bank. I mean, I will never be able to pay off the interest on that. There is no way that I could try and take a loan for that much. And since my dad and brother are broke, it isn't like I can turn to family to try and get that kind of money. <laughs> I don't know what to do. If I really want to take out that kind of money, I'll probably have to turn to a loan shark or something like that. Please, you have to loan me the money. I am begging you. You have got to be kidding me. Are you being serious right now? Do you really think that I would give you that kind of money or ever want to help you after the way you treated me? You've got some serious growing up to do, you know that? Besides, there are plenty of places that would lend you that much money, no doubt. But I already tried asking around for a place to lend me that much, and I was rejected every single time. Wait, what? You were rejected for a loan like that to finish your studies? But why? Did something happen? Well, uh, apparently my mom took out several credit cards in my name and maxed out every single one. And so, it's all thanks to her that I won't be able to get a loan from anywhere, no matter how hard I tried. I've basically been blacklisted. Wow. Well, that is just horrible, isn't it? There was a time when I thought that your mom might have been the one of your family who wasn't quite as bad. But she might actually have been the worst member of your family. There isn't a single person you can trust in your family, is there? But now you understand the awful hand that I've been dealt, right? You have to do something to help me. You can't just leave me like this. None of this was really my fault. I didn't know anything, so you have to forgive me. Please, you're the only one who can help me. I don't have anywhere else I can turn to, as you can see. Look, you can try to beg and plead with me all you want, but the fact is that Frank and I are divorced. I mean, we're not even sister-in-laws anymore. The fact is that you're nothing to me, and I have less than no reason to help you. I don't get it. You can't be serious, right? Please don't be like this. I really need your help. You're all that I have left. I mean, we lived together for three whole years. We're friends, aren't we? Isn't that worth anything? You know... In those whole three years, for every single one of those 1,095 days, I can't think of a single happy memory that I have with you. Please, I didn't mean any of it. I didn't know. You can't treat me like this. I am so, so close to graduating. I already told you that I wouldn't help you, and that is final. Just be thankful that you still have your family. I'm sure all of you can work together and figure something out. After that, I returned to live with my family and was able to really focus on my career. A while after I moved back in, my parents told me about the call that they got from Sammy. They just couldn't believe that that was the girl that I'd lived with for three years. When they got that call, they felt so bad for me and couldn't wait for me to move back in with them. Apparently, they were so worried for me that they were moved to tears. 
The last time I heard about Sammy, she had apparently taken a year off to raise money in order to pay for school and finish her degree. But try as she might, she was never able to make enough to pay for her school, her family's debts, and the credit cards taken out in her name. She never was able to return to school, so I heard. I also heard that after I left, things went much worse with her family. Frank blamed his parents for his divorce, and they in turn blamed him for not having better control over his wife. The nightly fights grew so loud that all the neighborhood could hear them. They also only spent more and more time at the casino. They would fight, then all run off to the casino when they got worn out. <laughs>